Today we're out here at a great rock spot because we're gonna be looking for some epic invertebrates, some weird creatures that live underneath these rocks to stock the giant saltwater pond. We wanna get some big creatures out of these rocks and in our aquarium. We can find some seriously cool stuff here because these rocks are home to thousands of creatures. Now today, this is our bait right here, a stinky, oily, smelly mullet. These things attract every sea creature on the land, from eels to fish to crabs, and we're just gonna throw them in the rocks just like this. Nice and shallow and let the current do the work. We're gonna plant a few of them around here, and we're gonna go ahead and net the sea creatures that come up. Hope we find stone crabs, blue crabs, speckled crabs, eels if we're lucky, and a whole lot more, baby. You guys just saw me throw the mullet inside here, and we got a crab. Is this an emerald? That's a baby stone crab. Look at the claws on it. That could be the world's smallest stone crab. He came right from the mullet. I kid you not, that mullet was in there for not even two minutes. And this guy was already on it. A baby tiny stone crab. You guys know when you go to the uh, restaurant and you ask for a stone crab and it's $90 for a pound. Yeah, this is, the, this is the culprit right here. We got a little baby. I'm gonna leave him with this mullet right here. Because hopefully action will bring action. He's gonna stay right there and he's gonna go to work. Now while we wait, I wanna mention, click the link down in the description or the pinned comment to enter the giveaway. All you gotta do is put your email on that website and you're entered to win three items on fishguy.shop of your choice. Whether it's all three hats, whether it's a shirt, a performance shirt and a hat, it's up to you, whatever you want. Easiest thing you can do, click the link, put your email in and you're entered to win. Holy crap, those are much bigger claws. That's a way, that's a way bigger, I, I don't know if it's an actual stone crab. You don't think? I don't know. Those claws are identical, dude. Yeah, I think they, it is. That's a big boy right there. Too, way too small to keep, so watch him swim off. Ready? See ya, buddy. I want to flip do, this I do hear a pistol shrimp. Like, literally, I can hear him. So he's under here somewhere. Chris, can you flip this? Talk to me. Oh, look at this. This here, crap. He's inside there pretty deep, though, but he was out. Let's see. It's cool when you see him kind of swim. Watch. Watch him come out. He's much bigger. Pistol. You got him? Oh, he's purple, dude. Rick, look. There he goes! Big armor crab! This area is literally loaded. We're about to catch this pistol shrimp over here. Come on, Christopher. I think it's a purple pistol Oh wait, shrimp. I think it's under here. I think I saw him go under this it's rock. It's a purple pistol shrimp. Look at those stone crabs right there! Two of them! Two of them right there. Two stone crabs. Two stone crabs. Gotta move that. You think the you think he's right here? Another stone crab. I'm gonna put him right back with the mullet. And look at the mullet right here, another stone crab right there. OG shrimp. Two of them right here, Jack. Got him! You got him? Yeah! What is that, dude? What is that, bro? Yeah, you're not. I'm not kidding, Chris. It's just like an OG shrimp, dude. Literally. Look at that. That's not a grass shrimp. That's not a normal shrimp. Is it a peppermint? Doesn't really have that orange like a yeah, normal peppermint. Lines, yeah, it does have those lines. It might be a peppermint. Dude, dude this, this right now is literally so loaded. Oh, there he is. I heard it. Jack, I over heard here. Him. I heard him. He's somewhere. You heard that pistol. I did. I see him. I see him, Jack. He's there. There he is, right there. Right under this rock. Under this rock right here, Jack. Is that? That's a pistol. That's a yeah, pistol. That's a pistol. Mantis shrimp. I think it's a mantis. Might be a mantis shrimp. This one right here, Chris. This one. I know, I know, but you gotta be quick. I know, I'm gonna try. You have to just watch where he goes. <laughs> it's right there. It's right there. It's a pistol. It's a pistol. Get him, Jack. Get him in the net. Ah! Oh. Got him! That's the one I was looking for. Sacrifice my That's life. My first I sacrificed my life. <laughs> I sacrificed my life. Hold on. Matching. <laughs> I sacrificed my life for the fish guys. Will he hurt me or no? It's like a oh my oh. god, do you hear that? I have never seen a pistol shrimp in the wild caught before in my entire life. <laughs> How sick is that thing, dude? I thought it looked like a mantis shrimp, bro. I know, so did I. I thought it was a mantis. That is crazy. Right, apparently, like, there is, like, crazy. Oh, really? Because I was just, like, literally holding it. Like, if you get bit by it, apparently it's gnarly. But okay. well, I don't know. It could be no, a No, 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 no. We might need to test it out. Should I try it? Yeah, yeah. Oh! I saw him open his claw and shut it. Should we let him go? Yeah. Guys, I just want to tell you that all of our hats are restocked on fishguy.shop. From the new and improved Respect the Reef hat right here on my head, all the way to the Fish Guy Tan, Fish Guy Gray, Truckers, and the Save Our Seas. Everything is fully back in stock. These ones are fully stitched now, as well as every other hat on the site. Just want to let you guys know the hats are restocked, and they're going to go damn quick. They've been out of stock for about a month. I'm telling you, they're going to fly. Zing! Now, you guys, you've seen how we've been setting these Mole underneath rocks, super, super shallow. And what we've literally just discovered is two more eels chasing our most shallow mole we have in the rocks. Look at this. This thing is literally beached on the ground. His body's right here. This is a chain eel, and then there's a green more eel right across. If you look down close, there is our mole. We have an outgoing tide, which means the water is leaving the inlet here, and it's just getting shallower by the second. I kid you not, two seconds ago, this eel was fully 
out of the water and it would not be able to make it back inside. It would literally just be dead. It would become a potato chip, a hot dog that's been burnt, just a carrot that's extremely hard, okay? And we're gonna save both these eels now because clearly it's like a maze for them and they can't get out. Oh, there, look, 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 he's right there. He's literally stuck. He is literally stuck. It literally goes to dry land where Chris is. Look at that. This is just a puddle of water and dry land. That's all he has. He means right here. Green more eel right here. Chain eel right here underneath one of these rocks here. Okay. Yeah, you look, you see him? Look at look at the green Mario. Literally does not know what to do. He's literally gonna run out of well, he's gonna run out of water eventually, probably in the next 15 minutes. This is what you've been wanting, buddy. You want it? Oh my god. Oh my god, he's gonna eat it on dry land. Look at this. He has he has no hope. Oh my god, he's so strong! Jack! I couldn't hold on! He literally just hand fed a wild I just hand fed a wild green Mario's trapped right here! Look at that! There he is! Oh! He just dipped. He just dipped. He just dipped. He just dipped. No, he's right here! He's back! He's back! Dude, I'm telling you, there's no way out! There's literally no way out for these guys. They are officially stuck in a literal tide pool right here. They're both right here. Green Warrior's right here now. Warrior's right here. Lift that rock. There. Which one? He's right here. I see his tail, dude! Here's okay. the chain right here. The one thing we don't want to happen is for them to start slithering their way all throughout these rocks where there's no water. If we can keep an eye on them, move these rocks around, we'll be able to get them. There's all right, how are we gonna get this guy? Watch your head, Shane. There he is! There he is! The green's in here and he's actually trapped. Ready? You gonna go net him? Oh. No, he's gone. Yes. He's literally stuck. He's stuck. Yeah, he's right here. He's stuck. He's, stuck. he's totally stuck. Try it with the wood, this one. Stuck. There he is, there he is, there he is. He's oh my god, literally... that's a new one. That's a new one. That is a new one. They're stuck. We have a stuck eel. He's back here. He's literally smashed him in, oh, in between these rocks. I see it. Right there. Dude, it's literally impossible almost to get him out because he just slithers rock to rock, but he's literally beached. He's beached. Like, he's actually. He's beached. He's literally out. beached. Hold I'm going to start chipping away Hold here, on. guys. Hold on, Jack. He's, right here. He's beached, dude. Right here. He's beached, whale. He's beached. Give me that. Pick him up with your name. Right here. Oh my god. Right here. There's multiple. Right here. Right here. He's beached, whale. He's beached. He's beached. Get him, Chris. Guys, he's literally just finding new pockets. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. <laughs> It's a Great Barrier Reef right here. That one has all the eels. This is a Great Barrier, he's right here. He's right here. There he is, there's his head. This is a full blown rescue mission, 911. We got the call from the sergeant, major fish. Three trapped eels, possible four. There's so many eels. all right there, literally. There's no escaping, dead low tide is in 40 minutes. Crap. Eel, right here, right here. Nick, Nick, Nick. Watch out guys. Chris, you move this rock right here and I got it. I got it, eel saved. Right here, right here. He's actually beached now. He's beached! He's Pick this one up, Chris. Pick this 4,000 pounder. Grab this 4,000 pounder. You can grab his tail and pull him back in, dude. Like, actually. No, no, he's on dry land. He's, he's on dry land. He's on dry land, dude. His tail's right there. I think this is a 30 second, or I'm gonna have to call it. 1.41 p.m. Rest in peace, Green Moray. Here, Chris, we gotta open this, dude. How? You know what? We're gonna have to break the stick. We're gonna have to break the net. Yeah. I gotta save my eel. There's only one way, dude. I'm pushing him through, dude. He's going, he's going. I don't have eyes on him anymore. Broke my net for this guy. That fish guy, Chris, or the Hulk? I don't know, one of the two. I think we lost the suspect. I've literally moved every single rock in the vicinity of this rock that I'm standing on. That way we can have a clear view of underneath, which is where we last saw the green moray eel go. I can see underneath the whole entire rock, and he's no longer there. The only way he could have gotten out is if he figured his way through this side right here, which we think he has, because he is not underneath this rock whatsoever. Guys, look at all these little hermit crabs that I pulled this rock up. Those are all alive. There's a colony of hermit crabs. I was going after this little crab here, this big looking one, and there is probably 60 hermit crabs, baby hermit crabs. These are all alive, just chilling in a giant colony. All of them, you see them all moving like that? That is absolutely insane. We got a couple cool ones in here, a couple blue-legged ones. They're all blue-legged ones, pretty much. We have a giant colony of hermit crabs. This is fire for any aquarium. That is like- I got him! I got Jack got him! him. Jack got, I him. got him! Emergency! I just got oh him! My god. Oh Whoa. my god! That's a new, new one. one! That was the chain! What is that one? Is that the chain or is that a yellow? He's beautiful, look at that. The other one I think got out. I stayed, I made sure. I didn't want that guy to be dead. Good thing I did, it's starting to rain too, holy crap. I could not believe that we just got him. Oh my god, I think it's- He was literally almost bone dry. I had to stay quiet. I had to really 
Dial it in. Dude, ever since we caught the first one of these, we only see these. Look at that thing. Like, literally, we only see these. That one's Look really at that. yellow. Oh my god, that thing's so we yellow. We got a runner. Should we put him in a tank? Or should that's we really yellow. so yellow. I think we let him go. What do you I think? think we let him go, too. That's a thick boy. I think we let him go, too. That's a thick boy, dude. Where should we let him go? It's raining. To the beach! To the beach, to the beach. Look at how pretty this eel is, dude. Straight yellow. Look at that, bro. he's so yellow. Look at That's that thing. Sick. Let's watch him so oh my god, dude. That thing's like three feet. That is oh. so sick. Oh, oh he's, he's so mean. Come on, bud. You're free. You are free. Look Oh my so god! Tough. That thing is sick. You're not beached anymore, buddy. Look at that right there. Look how Look. yellow he is. Crazy cool right there. That eel is sick. Look there he goes, he's, he's out of here. He's going Look. deep. He's going to the depths. That's sick. That is oh my god, he's so fast. Oh my god, makes me feel good. We had three different eels there. Definitely two of them escaped, and that one I stuck it out because I had a feeling that one would still be there. Sure enough, the half net, luckily that I broke because I needed every inch of this net to get... Actually, I didn't need every inch. I needed only about this much inches. <laughs> and we got it done. We let that eel go. It feels good. Saving fish, being a fish guy. Guys, we came to catch some epic stuff for the saltwater pond, and we got distracted with those trap eels. Thankfully, look, at, look, it's completely dry. Where we were fishing at, where we were trying to net them at, is completely dry now. Thankfully, we got that one that was stuck underneath that big rock out and back in the water. That was super cool. Let us know by dropping a like on this video if you guys think we should come back and keep on catching things under the rock. But it's about to rain. I wish we could continue, but that is for another video. At least we saved an eel today. Multiple eels today, three in fact. See you guys in the next one, peace.